Welcome to this edition of the Heavens Declare. Um, today we're going to look at the sign of the ascension. Um, after Jesus was crucified um, and was resurrected, um, he remained on the earth um, for a period of 40 days. Um, and during these 40 days, um, over about 500 people uh, witnessed the resurrected Christ. But um, Jesus said that he had to leave and that he would go back to his father and um, that he would send the Comforter or um, the Holy Spirit back in his place um, to, um, to help the believer. And so um, the story goes, and I'm in Acts here, um, the... Uh, that Jesus said to them um, that you shall receive power um, after that the Holy Spirit shall come upon you and um, let's see here uh, Acts 1 verse 8 but you shall receive power after that the Holy Ghost has come upon you and you shall be witnesses unto me both in Jerusalem Judea Samaria and unto the uttermost parts of the earth and when he had spoken these things, while they beheld, he was taken up, and a cloud received him out of their sight. And while they looked steadfastly towards the heavens, as he went up, behold, two men by them in white apparel, which said, Ye men of Galilee, why stand ye gazing up unto heaven? This same Jesus, which is taken up from you into heaven, shall so in like manner uh, as ye have seen him go into heaven." Shall, shall so come in like manner as ye have seen him go into heaven. So, uh, we know 40 days from the crucifixion was uh, 513, because uh, Jesus was uh, crucified on the 3rd of uh, April. So, uh, 40 days later would be 513. And as you can see here, Venus, the symbol of love, um, is at the end of his... Um, of his orbit and is about to zoom back um, back into the heavens where he came from uh, to make a, essentially a, a celestial uh, U-turn um, uh, to go back in this place. Now the interesting thing here is um, and I'm going to highlight this uh, because uh, this is not obvious here um, as he goes back, notice Mercury, the messenger, um, is on his way, uh, in the, is in the opposite direction. So Venus is coming, is going this way, and Mercury is coming this way, down to Earth. Okay, now the interesting thing to note is, um, right here, is Jupiter. And Jupiter which also represents Christ, goes back into the heart of Pollux. Now, if you remember, Pollux in mythology was immortal. Okay? So, Jesus is essentially taking his place back uh, into his immortality, back to where he belongs. And Mercury, the messenger, is now um, making uh, his descent down to Earth. While Venus over here is making his ascent back to the heavens. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is the ascension uh, that happened on 513 of 33 AD.